Hi. Hi. My name is Mohammed. I'm one of the ED doctors. Can I know your name, please? I'm Reem Sonia Oh, hi, Reem. And what's your position in the department? Yes, I'm Sonia Doctor Abdul. All right, okay. Nice to meet you. I haven't met you before. Uh, so, um, how can I help you today? Uh, I want to know about basic airway management. Basic airway management. All right, okay. And how much do you know about it? Not so much. Not so much. Okay, fine. So, I'm going to teach you uh, some important facts about basic airway management. Uh, please concentrate with me. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me immediately. At the end, I'm going to give you some lectures and online resources for further studying, and I will be happy to meet you again for further discussion. Is that all right? Thank you. Okay. So, shall we uh, come here? So, firstly, I will tell you about how to assess the airway, uh, and then we'll take it from there. Fine? So, when we have unwell patient, we need to assess the A, B, C, D, E. We will start with the A, the airway. All right? So first of all, try to have a chat with the patient. If he is speaking, uh, that means it, it's partially reassuring for us. Okay? Uh, and then we need to proceed. And we need to look inside the mouth for any abnormalities. If he needs suction, for example, or if there is any blood, if any uh, foreign body um, that needs uh, seek, uh, suction, for example. All right? And then we need to look, listen, and feel. So um, look, listen, and feel. OK? So this is the assessment of the airway. Sometimes we might need to open the airway if it's obstructed. For example, if there is any snoring, gurgling, or strider. So to open the airway, we have two maneuvers. We have the head tilt chin lift, and we have the jaw thrust. So if there is no concern about C-spine injury, then we can do the head tilt chin lift. Okay, just like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, or you can do the jaw thrust if you are concerned about C spine injury. Yes. So you will do it like this. Okay, and push the jaw uh, towards the ceiling. Is that clear? Yes. Can you show me the jaw thrust, please? Yes. All right. So, okay. So I will show you again. So put your um, palms in here, okay, to stabilize the head and neck in the midline. And, the, and then by your two fingers, push the mandible just below the angle of the mandible up there towards the ceiling. All right? Okay. Yeah. I put my hand yeah. here in this push-up position. Yeah. And by any push. one, I will push up to the ceiling. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then... Reassess it, all right? Uh, so now we, we open the airway. Now we need to maintain it, all right? Yes. So we can use a simple airway adjuncts like the oropharyngeal or nasopharyngeal. So regarding the oropharyngeal airway or the guidal airway, uh, first of all, uh, make sure no contraindication. If the patient is conscious or he's having intact drug reflex, mm -hmm. then uh, that's contraindication because of the risk of aspiration, okay? Mm -hmm how to size it from the angle of the mouth to the angle of the mandible. So this looks like the right size of the, for the patient. How to insert it? You can insert it directly uh, with the laryngoscope, um, or you can insert it in adults, upside down like this, and then tilt and pass it, all right? Yes. And then reassess, OK? So do you want to show me how to insert it? Pressure, okay. okay, directly. All right. Like this, or I will insert like this mm -hmm. by approach, like this, and I push inside. Well done. Excellent. Fine. Thank you. Uh, regarding the nasopharyngeal airway, uh, this is contraindicated if you are concerning about fractured base of the skull or if there is excessive facial injuries. Okay. How to size it from the tip of the nose? to the uh, ear loop, all right? And then you can uh, insert it perpendicular, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to lubricate it, fine. And then you need to go here and perpendicular, all right? And then reassess to make sure the airway is not obstructed, okay? 
Fine. Is that clear? Yes. Fine. So now we know how to access the airway, how to open the airway, and how to, to use the airway adjuncts. Do you have any question? Yes, I want to know how to use that. Oh, the AMBU bag. Yes. So this is the bag mask valve. All right, this is really important to provide positive pressure ventilation. So you can use it one hand or two hands, okay? So I will apply it to the face like this and keep the uh, tight seal, bring the face to the mask, all right? And do a bit, little bit of uh, jaw thrust and then ventilate, okay? If it's not working, then you can put oro or nasopharyngeal and do it. Is that okay? And, and you can use it two person, so I can hold the seal for you, and then you can do that as well. And assess the chest rise and the entire CO2. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Good. So do you have any question? Any further question? Oh, no, thank you. Fantastic. So next time, I will teach you more about advanced airway management, all right? Yes, about right. supraglottic airway devices and the intubation. All right. All right. Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you very much. Yes, you too. Yes.